Hello, 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 it's Kathy Bedell at MyStampinSpot.com coming to you with our Spotlight Feature of the Week, Sweetest Star. Um, boy, it seems dark over here, doesn't it? Holy smokes. All right, I have my peppermints. I have yesterday's card. This was the first card. Cute, cute, right? You can find that on the blog. Um, I brought over... Well, I want the candy canes. That's why I brought this over. This is Snowy Scenes, 12 by 12. Have you seen it? It's all snow globes. It's adorable. It's a large part of my Christmas collection. My Christmas card collection. Snowman, if you love snowmen. I love this. It bums me out that it's on the back of the snowman because you better believe I'm using every single one of those snowmen. The cute penguins. Penguins have trees on the back. We have holly, and then we have this really bright stripe, and then we have these like village scenes. And the back of the village scenes is the candy cane paper that we are going to use. Okay. I brought over my Spotlight on Nature dies. And I actually pre-cut myself um, a circle. That's for the greeting. I'm going to put that over here to the side. Okay. Let's see. Let's get going. I have some assorted white. You'll see why. I have cherry cobbler, flirty flamingo, black, daffodil. This is SU-1000, and this is smoky slate. They're all the light version of those colors, a wink of Stella, and of course, our star of the day. Okay, let's get going. Again, this will all show up on the blog tomorrow. So have no fear. We're going to start with a crumb case, blah, crumb cake base. And we are going to, I'm going to open this arm up because we're doing some, some big cutting here today. We're going to start at five and a half. So I'm just going to cut this. I'm cutting it so it's five and a half by 11. But then we're going to cut it down to five and a half by 10 and three quarters. We're doing a little fun fold. It's a holly jolly Christmas fun fold. Okay, now we are going to score at one and five eighths. Bloop. Three and a quarter. Remember, if you make a purchase, I'll send you these cards. All the details are linked in the comments there. Not the comments, but the, what do you call it? The caption. We're going to seven and a half. And then we're going to nine and one eighth. Okay. I can close this big arm up. All right. We are making a basic kind of gatefold. But it's got this little wingtip kind of thing going on here. So we have the little accordion going on the two front flaps. Like this. Okay. Now. I need a piece of real red. Um, I am going to cut this real red at hmm. <laughs> actually, let's start with a piece of white. This is four and a quarter by three. This is going to be for the inside. Four and a quarter by three. We're going to line that too. <clears throat> so then we need a piece of red three and a quarter by four and a half. So three and a quarter by four and a half. How's everybody doing? Everybody enjoying the fall weather? Hey, Janet, how are you today? Janet, did you have a request for next week? Because 
I hadn't made any decisions. I kind of have a couple in mind, but I don't have anything solid. So that red is going to line that white in there. I'll move it over here so you can see it. There we go, like that. Then we need a piece of red that's four and a half by two and a half. Then we need a piece of our DSP that's four and a quarter by two and a half. No, by two and a quarter. Like that. Then we need another piece of red that's four and a half. Again, all this will be on the blog tomorrow. Uh, red, four and a half by two and a half. Wait, is that what I just did? That is what I just did. So this actually needed to be five. This needs to be three by five. Pay no attention to the lady with the cutter. Because she clearly can't seem to stay on track here. And then this piece of DSP is going to be four and three quarters. Oh, we're short. Four and three quarters by... Oh, I think we can do it this way. Four and three quarters. Oh, and that's perfect. We'll use that for inside. Four and three quarters by two and three quarters. Yes! Okay, and I actually... I'm going to cut this down to a half inch. And we're going to go three, like that. That's going to be for the inside. Okay, that is our basic recipe right there. Hey, Kathy, Jean, I love the DSP2 hanging ornament. Wow, it's the one set that just doesn't inspire me. Let me see what I can do with it. Hey, Maria, Linda. Thanks for being here, you guys. Okay, I'm going to put this away. I think we're all set with that for now. <clears throat> Let's start layering this. Oh, my. I just turned my TV on by accident with my cutter because my remote was sitting on the corner of my desk. All right. <clears throat> I want inside... I want... May your days be merry and bright. No, actually, I don't want that. We used that yesterday. I want sweet wishes. Sweet wishes. I'm sorry I always sing. Now, if I had a great voice, we'd be all set. So I'm stamping this in real red. My mother growing up was always cooking and baking and dancing in the kitchen. Always. Always, always. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to close this up for now because I think you know what happens to that. And we're just going to, well, we're going to take that hair that's on here. It's a big dog hair, my Duncan. He's got the longest fur and it's everywhere. Oh, who knows? Could be me. Okay, and we're going to lay that right into the center of this card base. Like so. And this little itty bitty three by one half inch, I'm just going to put down the bottom for a little extra something something. Like, ah, uh, I'm off. See, some days you just shouldn't be so cocky just because it's going well. Okay, now, kind of wondering if I should stamp these snowflakes over here. I think I'm going to hold off. Let's see how the card comes out first. 
Okay, we're going to layer these two panels that we've cut. there and we're going to layer these two now they're not the same size I can see that <laughs> it is very intentional <clears throat> so this one we want to it's going to overhang so let's close this up and we're going to do kind of a equal border all the way around I would say that's about a quarter inch all the way around given that this is five and this is five and a half that's a half inch okay now this one we're gonna do the same but as you can see it's a different size and we want it that way and I'm gonna do the same thing here I am gonna just layer it so it has about eh, I don't know maybe a half inch all the way around pretty close to it what's that yep just about a half inch so it's gonna close like this Boop. now we are gonna stamp a Santa and a Mrs. Claus we're doing both some scrap white. I'm going to put that off to the side. Let's get our black ink and let's get our block. We'll do Santa first. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, see, that was foolish. That's a little hard to punch. I got to put them down here. Okay. Then. We're going to stamp Mrs. Claus. Because except for Christmas night, wherever Mr. Claus is, Mrs. Claus is. Okay. Now, through the magic of TV, ta-da, I have those all colored. But I want to give you a little tip with Mrs. Claus. So, <clears throat> well, let's cut Mr. Claus out first. <laughs> Yeah, my singing talents. I better keep my day job, Jean. <laughs> okay, so what I want to show you, uh, just like Mr. Claus, I put a little dot of the uh, Flirty Flamingo right at her nose. And I used the light smoky slate to get her hair all colored. And I used the flesh tone the SU-1000 for her hands and her face. Mr. Claus today has black gloves on his hands. Yesterday he had flesh tone hands. But I want to show you a trick for coloring around all that scallopness. Is that a word, scallopness? Maybe in your world. Okay. Here's a little trick I like to do. And if you watched yesterday, you know I'm using cherry cobbler, light cherry cobbler, because I feel like the real red is a little strawberry colored. So what I do is I go into the corner and pull out. This helps versus trying to get around all those curves where you can either go really wide or go over it. If you just go into the corner, pull out, then you can kind of just draw an even circle around. And then you just color the rest of her. And see how filled in that lovely collar is? So again, just go in to the little points of her apron and her collar and pull out. And again, I'm using the marker tip, not the blend tip. And then you can just kind of come around and you won't hit all those scalloped edges. So there's a little tip to help you color that. In the meantime, let's get a Mrs. Punched Out. Okay. Now, I am going to add Wink Estella to them, like we did yesterday. Oh, where do we add it for her? 
maybe we'll just add it to her apron. We'll give her a little dazzle dazzle to her apron and her little collar and her little sleeves. And we're going to ho 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 up Santa's beard. Ho ho ho. I'm adding it pretty heavy to his little pom pom and his little band. Oh! I didn't color Santa's belt. Well, I have to stop and color Santa's belt. I did use Daffodil Delight on the buckle. So I'm just going to come in and do the inside of the buckle. Like that. I can't talk while I'm coloring because if my mouth is going... I will definitely mess up. There we go. Okay. Now they're all set. All right. Like I said, and now that I'm looking, I'm hoping this isn't too big because I wanted baking spirits bright. You know what? It is too big. It is too big. I was thinking I was using... May your days be merry and bright. So I was judging that size. So I'm going to pull a punch. However, I would suggest using one of the other decorative dies. Like this would have been the perfect size. Ooh, I have my mini machine here. Yay. Yay, yay. I'm going to very carefully cut a piece of paper off. Very carefully. This will be quick than if I went across the room to use the regular size. I'm going to move that because you know I'm going to lose that. Okay. Here we go. Did you watch the monkeys when you were a kid? Walking down the street. Get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, where the monkeys? Okay, let's just pop these out. Just trying to get the little circles out. They don't want to come out. My dye must not have been clean. Okay. Now let's stamp our greeting. I feel the need to put this dye away, though. Because otherwise, tomorrow I'm going to be going, Joelle, did you see my guy? Poor Joelle. Okay, let's stamp this in real red. Then we'll make the fun happen. <sighs> yes, my careful cut. I kind of bake that way, too. My girls are always asking for recipes, and I'm like, oh, you know, just a little. They're all like, can you quantify a little? I'm like, I don't know, like that. <laughs> ah. Okay. Let's put this puppy together. But I have a surprise. So we're going to have one last step after. So, baking spirits bright. Put Mrs. Claus down there. I was just going to feature... Mr. Claus, I mean Mrs. Claus today, but Santa would have none of it. He wouldn't hear of it. Okay. Let's put a few dimensionals on these guys. I'm not going to do it towards the point of Santa's head because his point may be hanging off a little since this layer is a little lower. You could do these equal. I kind of wanted it to be overlapping for a little effect. A little offset there. Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. What's your favorite Christmas movie, guys? 
Tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is. I'll tell you mine. Mine is Christmas with the Cranks, undoubtedly. I love Christmas with the Cranks. I'm not sure my family loves it as much as I do, but I do. Hey, Carol. I know if Mary were on here, I know hers is Elf, because we make a lot of Elf funny texting jokes back and forth. And I like the Grinch, but I have to admit, I am a faithful 70s kid, and I love the cartoon version of the Grinch best. I'm going to add some of these peppermints. And remember, I promised that I will have peppermints if you spend $50 for people. There we go. I don't know if we need more than that. We'll, we'll wait and see. Okay, now for the surprise. The super surprise. Inside, we're going to put, because it's baking spirits bright, we're going to put a little gingerbread man hiding inside this other flap. So I have a piece of pecan. And he's really pretty cute, I have to say. Now, before I punch him, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I get these from Amazon, and I'm sad to say, I don't know if it's because it's cold in this house or if they have run out. I'm having these guys, I'm having trouble getting these guys to go. I'll put a link on my blog. I think they might just be out of ink. They're white gel pens. And I should have made sure that they were good. I think they're out of ink. So I have multiple of the old Stampin' Chalk Writer. I don't like this. It won't be quite as bright. But it's going to do for tonight. And I'm just going to put the little frosting on him. We no longer sell these chalk markers. Whoa, I just broke the tip of that. I pushed too hard and now I messed him up. And I'm going to do him over. I'm sorry. You don't need to sit through two gingerbread men. Okay. That was weird. Let's try this again, eh? Well, at least these are working. Stampin' Up! used to carry like a scrapbook line a lot of years ago that these came from. And a big smile and a couple white eyes. I like the chalk pens better, I'm not gonna lie. I mean the gel pens better because they're much whiter and crisper. And these are a little cloudy. Let's throw that one right in the trash. It's just trying to brighten up his smile a little bit. There we go. And we're going to put some little peppermints as his buttons. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I have to come in this way. These are pretty close together, these little buttons. Sarah. I don't know who Sarah is, Corinne. She has embossed on glimmer paper. I did not see that. I'm not sure who Sarah is. Oh, Sarah, you mean from the home office? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay, I may have made one mistake. I may... Maybe should have put those peppermints on after I punched. So this is going to be a very valuable lesson to you all. Oh, oh she made it. can't believe she made it. And then I have to go back and look that up, Corinne. I still would suggest holding off on those until after. But that's just me. All right, we're going to try to hide him behind the flap so that he's kind of like a secret surprise in there. 
It's the gingerbread cookie that Mrs. Claus has spent all day working on. Maybe he's trying to run away. Maybe he's trying to be an escaped convict. I'm actually going to let him hang over a little because there's plenty of room to have him hang over. And that way he's hidden. Look at that. Woo! Baking spirits bright. Boop, 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 boop. What do you think? Cute, isn't it? So cute. So there's my first two cards of the week. They're going to be a little hard to beat. I'm going to have to work hard to come up with something better. But if you spend $40, I'll send you two of each plus the two next cards that we make. If you spend $50, I'm going to send you a little pack of peppermints. So I used the host code. The host code is up there. And everybody should go check out Sarah's video if you haven't seen it. And um, this will fit in an envelope, by the way, if you were wondering. I know it's kind of thick. But I did a mock-up, just to be sure. And it does fit. Well, Santa doesn't want to go in. He's like, no! Santa's going airmail. So there we go. And, you know what you could do, too? Oh, not long enough. I had a piece of scrap candy cane that could cover this flap. Oh, I have this from the other day. Oh, still not big enough. Well, if I had a piece of scrap big enough, it'd be pretty to cover the envelope. All right, everybody. I won't see you tomorrow. Um, I will see you on Thursday. And um, I don't know what's going on at the post office today, but boy, it was a mob scene. I'll link to my Amazon, the gel pens, and I'll get these measurements and directions on the blog. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for being here, you guys. I always appreciate you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I have a slow connection, and the banner is covering my finish button. So now we just have to sit here and say no. <laughs> Bye, you guys.